So then we'll look at the BBE items. So obviously BBE items are the top prize in this weekend's leaderboard. Yes, there is the five-star combat, but I think a lot more people are going for the BBE items rather than the five-star combat itself. And so, uh, yes, there was a sort of bug in the game that allowed you to upgrade to level 11 last week but that got reverted and now it's back in the game again but we're going to go through all the combat see which ones are available to upgrade uh, and by how much uh, we can just look through the five stars i've got and then some of the four stars where i don't have the five star version because sadly it's not available on test right now obviously as you go down the lower um, ranked up uh, combat and the combats that I don't see much value in the ones that are above a I think are pretty decent So we can sort of go along and not look at Not just the combat whether it's good, but also whether the upgrade is worth it or not So in terms of the 11 upgrade uh, For wrong now if I say ability 11. I apologize. It's not ability 11. It's level 11, but uh, obviously, Helia allies around a target for 42%. So that increases to 54%. Zone heal, which is an extra 12%. So that's not bad. 12%. It's, it's a it's a minor increase. And I think when we talk about this, this is the sort of same thing as ranks in terms of it's nothing game breaking, nothing like, wow, it's crazy. But I think all of them together will amount to something. But I feel like 12% is not that much. It's decent. Um. And then protection goes from 32% to 41%. Um, so, yeah, I think this is probably worth the investment of 1 million spark out of all of them. Not a bad increase. Uh, let me look at Buzz Strike. So, when I, when, I, when, when I equip Buzz Strike, I don't equip him for the DPS increase. I equip him for the Giant Blade and the Hack Immunity. Now, the Giant Blade does two times the bot's DPS. So if you put that on someone like Robust, who's got like 1,000 DPS, it's hitting 2,000 in a, ta in, a, in a line. Quite a lot. And the hack immunity, I mean, they can't do much with the hack immunity um, in terms of improving it because you're immune to it. There's no like having more immune. So not much you can do with that. But personally, as well as the damage boost, I would have liked them to see more of the bot's DPS being used as a giant blade. So I would rather have been 2.5%. Uh, rather than oh two times two and a half not two and a half percent rather than just double i think there's the increase in dps of nine percent is going to be standard across a lot of them and so why do bus strike and other ones when you can just do bus strike so i'm i'm not too impressed by that i think the bus strike is better at 10 rather than 11 uh in terms of terax uh, it's just increasing the life drain again. I would like to see in the bots DPS as well rather than just the DPS or the life drain I would like to see in both especially with older content like Teraxodon. I feel like when they did this should have done it in batches I said this day I said why didn't you do batch one? So batch one is considered quite old now and quite dated in a way So they should have started with batch one and really pushed the boundaries again because they've done it as like a blanket across all of them it feels like some of these haven't been pushed. And I feel like they should have done batch one. And Traxton should maybe have gone from 12% to like 20%. And really pushed that and made it 50% of the bot DPS value maybe. Um, but just the life drain means that it's probably not worthwhile. Uh, Big Daddy hasn't got it. You'll find that a lot of the defense bots don't have the BBE yet. They're trying to... We talk about swings from attack and defense and i think they're trying to go a bit more attack minded right now ready for the next hq upgrade coming later this year probably so i feel like a lot of the defense options will be limited um zor so zor is an increase in health and dps and again i would have liked to see in the um the orbital strike being increased as well not just the health and dps so i feel like if you're putting this on defense it might be worthwhile but on attack I would rather have this been 500% um, of Zor's uh, DPS than Orbital Strike. So I feel like damage-wise, they're trying to limit it. Uh, in terms of Flak, I think this is probably one of the better ones because shoot five rockets each dealing 39.3%. Now it's 47%. So that's an 8% increase on five rockets. So it's an 8% increase over the spread. So I feel like that's quite good, especially if you're mixing this with Primer. So... Primer obviously increases your damage against targets as well. Add that to Flak, then I think that's going to be a quite a 
probably one of the better upgrades of all of them. When I actually looked at this on when this first came into the game and started my upgrades, Rung and Flak were the first two that I did because we're talking about healing being so important in the game and and using it so much. Um, but I think Flak's probably one of the best ones out yet. Really, really good because plain and simple, he does extra DPS. So the percentage increase is simply DPS. That's all he sort of does. So really good upgrade for uh, Flak. In terms of glitch, again, I just feel like the 43% chance of 55%, it's, it's gone from, you know, a, a 1 in 2.5 chance to 1 in 2 chance, pretty much. It's not a massive increase for 1 million spark for glitch. Um, and again, uh, I would rather have caused more damage. I like these things to have increased critical damage and this to have two parts to it where you'll find that a lot of these bbe items have one and the ones where it's one you think you could have done two you could have done increased critical damage and increased damage from all sources as well but they've chosen not to on glitch so maybe not the best um but then you can come to nightstick who's got who is one of the best combats in the game and what have they done they've given it both a damage boost and the life drain so nightstick is a is a instant one done because it's one of the best combats in the game already i just feel like they probably just should have given nightstick just either because it's so good i know and i said this that they would have started with batch one then they could have done batch one and really pushed the boundaries and i feel like they've pushed the boundaries with the best combat in the game rather than the not so good combats so uh nightstick easy one definitely damage increase more healing easy night stick should be upgraded in a heartbeat uh top shot hasn't got one yet which is a bit bizarre considering night stick has you'd feel like it may be increased top shot and not night stick with night stick being the best combat in the game does that just show that they don't know that night stick's the best combat in the game if they'd have gone with batch one say let's just make a pure point so let's go back to batch one of the combats so batch one i don't have fire drive and night stalker i've no desire to ever go back for them level 11 or not right now no desire at all but if they would have brought level 11 out for these bots so flax is pretty decent flax is uh good traxodon so so lionizer i don't think i'm gonna be sold on that fire drive not sold off because i don't like it anyway night stalker if this level 11 would have made these really really op i might i might have gone back for them and go and pulled them so i've got two bots there and then a couple in a month or two if they bring out two trench foot and smash down there's two there I could have gone back for and then legs three you got red heat top it south berry so all of a sudden there's seven combats i'm chasing i don't need to keep bringing out new combat because i'm chasing old content because you're making it more relevant again you don't need to bring out these reworks all you need to do is bring out something that makes them a bit more relevant and then people can choose to go back and get them and chase shards and so it's kind of like recycling old content a bit and i don't know why space it will do that You've got to think that if they just rework an item, they don't get any money from that, really, if you've already got it. Where if they bring out a level 11 for old content, then you've kind of got to chase that content. And I'm, I understand that. As a business, they've got to make money. So I understand that they're going to create this content. But my my point is, what they're going to do is, everyone is going to chase wrong nightstick. And it's going to be like five or six that everyone chases because it's not balanced correctly. And again, this was never put in playtest. So they would have put this in playtest. I think that my, well, I'm not in playtest, but my feedback would have been in a video that start with batch one. Work your way through. Do five at a time, like they do with the uh, ability 11s when they bring out, you know, three, four, five at a time. Start with batch one, work your way through. Give yourself two months for every single batch. Do them all now in behind the scenes. But do batch one this month, two months time, batch two, and you know what? Do batch, do batch one, bring out some BBE items, and then you know, do a combat event advertising and be put BBE items in it. Have a pure combat event. Uh, and make a big thing about it. But um no. Uh 